Would you rather pay a premium for fuel and stay on the water all summer long or pay a premium for repairs and have your boat in the shop? Stick around for your boat fuel and its pros and cons on today's video. Hey, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. We all know that you've invested in your boating to keep your friends and your family together and have some great time on the water. One of the ways to do that is to avoid having your boat in the shop, getting expensive fuel repairs. If you like today's video, make sure you throttle that like button, subscribe to get on board for more of these type of videos. Fuel is not all created equal. In the province of Ontario in Canada, most fuel has ethanol. In fact, the only fuel that doesn't is 91 octane. Whether you get 87 or 89, or sometimes when you get 93 and 94, you'll have 10 to 15% ethanol in your fuel. What's ethanol? Ethanol is an alcohol-based fuel, which usually comes from sugarcane or corn. So ethanol, which is done to reduce the use of fossil fuels is driven from our food markets, which can have the negative effects of increasing food costs and also land usage. In your boat, it also has the negative effect of absorbing water. So one thing that your marine engine does not like is water or solids. In fuel, what can happen is if you have a high ethanol content, it will actually be what's called hygroscopic and hygroscopy means that it can absorb moisture or water. So when you fill up your tank, your boat tank, and it sits over time because it's vented to the atmosphere, it will pull in moisture from the air and that will get in your tank and will either have to be filtered out or run through the engine. The other thing that will happen is as that fuel and moisture mix, it changes the chemical composition of the fuel and that chemical change can cause the solids that are in your fuel to drop out of suspension and clog your intakes, clog your carburetors, clog your filters, and clog your fuel injection systems. So what we recommend at Lems Cove is that you always, always use premium 91 octane fuel, at least here in Ontario, to make sure that it is 100% ethanol free. Where you buy your fuel should have a no ethanol or ethanol free sticker on it. Make sure you ask at the pump because it's critical. It's not a performance issue. How your boat engine drives and, and performs is usually fine on 87 or 89 or any of the octane ratings. It's really about a storage issue and then future service and repair issue. Just think, you might put fuel in your boat in late August in the northern climate, and that fuel may still be in there when you go to winter store, and that fuel may still be there in June when you go to top up your tank the first time the next spring. So we're talking eight to 10 months of storage, that fuel would be there. And I can tell you, regular 87 octane fuel, even with fuel stabilizer that you can buy at any marine store or, or auto supply store, will not be good enough to use the next season and will cause you problems. Because ethanol can pull water vapors from the atmosphere and it can change the chemical composition of your fuel, what can happen is either through moisture, water, or through solids, contaminants, you can, when you clog your carburetor or you clog your fuel injection system, you can do a couple things. You can cause expensive repairs that are, are just annoying you can also cause major engine damage because if the fuel delivery is compromised, you can lean out the fuel error to mixture ratio and that could cause long-term engine damage and even engine failure. We see it happen at the marina all the time. We would say that in a given season, we may do 10 to 50 fuel contamination repairs every year. When you see these boats that are here in storage, remember, that one season storage will definitely cause fuel degradation. Think about a boat that sat for two or three years. And that's one of the reasons that we often say to check out this video here about the hours on an engine in a boat, because if it has really low hours, you may wanna know how much time does that boat sit and how old is the fuel in it. 
So your boat will run perfectly fine on 87 octane. And if you are going through a fuel tank every weekend, you can save a little money and burn 87. Your engine will run perfectly fine. But do yourself a favor, if you can afford it, always run 91 octane or zero ethanol fuel. And for sure, towards the end of the season, make sure that's the fuel that's in there so that it's there for long-term storage. Thanks for joining us on today's Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Make sure you like this video and hit that subscribe button for more content just like this. Stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you out on the water.